ZBrush has a set of deformers that are meant to affect an entire model, kind of like modifiers in 3D Studio Max or filters in Photoshop. Let's see how they work. So we have this fish model over here and you can see that uh, I, it has different subtools. It's divided into diff different subtools. I will uh, take this main subtool, which is this uh, body of the fish. So I will go down here in the deformation and you will see there are deformations here which is actually the modifier now let's look at the first modifier here which is the bend modifier now if i will increase or decrease this so you will see that it is kind of bending on that direction which is selected over here so let me undo that so you can see the z direction is selected here so if i will change it to y and then try to bend it so if you can see it is bending on the y direction okay and the z as well because both are selected so what i will do here is that i will uncheck the z and only choose the y and if i will try so you can see it is bending on the y but it's kind of harsh it does not look that good that appealing so let me undo that and let's go to the s bend s bend means smooth bending so if I will take the uh, uncheck the Z over here and click on the Y and try to do S bend instead of normal bend, so you will see the result is quite smoother and it looks more natural, just like you know uh, an actual fish will bend. So this looks much more smoother and it will, and it, this looks much more uh, natural as as well. So this is the the right one which i will use and i can you know increase or decrease the values the way i want it now as you can see i have applied this uh, uh smooth bend on the body of the fish but i have not applied it on the fins the tail or the like the top fins the bottom fins so how i can repeat this process it's very easy to do that what i need to do is I have to go to the subtools that I want to apply this effect on. So suppose these uh, bottom fins, I will go there. Okay, and then I will go back to my deformation again. And here I have option which says repeat to active. What it will do is that whatever I have done last, my last uh, modifier, my last modification, the deformation will be applied on this subtool. So if I will click on here, repeat to active, you will see that it has applied that over here but you know i did uh, like a very harsh changes and plus there is not much of the subdivision level on this fin so uh, it will apply it but not uh, completely over there okay so let me do one thing let me do entire everything here to go back to where i was okay and now what i will do here is that i will just add some subdivision level here okay but you know uh it should not have subdivision so what i will do at this stage is that press ctrl d two three times and delete the lower and alt click on this one subdivide it two three times this one as well delete the lower then alt click on this one same thing ctrl d uh two three times and delete the lower so, and this way I will not have any sort of subdivision and then I can reconstruct whenever I want. So I will press alt on my keyboard and click on the fish. So as you can see, fish already have a good subdivision level if I turn on my polyframes. Okay, so it's quite good enough to apply that effect. Now, as you can see, the fish is selected. I will go to my deformation and I will uh, do the S bend over here, something like here. Okay. And then I will go to subtool, okay, click here, and then I will go to my deformation and click on the repeat to active. Now you can see it is moved nicely over here. Now, same thing I can do with these two. So I will press Alt on my keyboard, click over here, so this will be selected. Repeat to active. Now you can see this one is following. Now for the uh, bottom one here, Alt, click on it, so this is selected and 
press on repeat to active now this is falling as well so easily i i was able to do that here so repeat to active what it's going to do is that it will take the exact same deformation and apply it to what other sub tools you might have selected so i'll go ahead and undo everything uh here okay for all these tools so i can have my uh regular uh, fish here as it was before and then i will make sure i'm on the fish body itself so now there's another uh deformer that uh you might want to play around with and that is called a polish which is kind of interesting so here you have the polish okay somewhere on the top so there are uh polish and polish by feature you can check uh, and like you know play with uh, all of these polishes and see what kind of result it's giving so we can crank this up the polish one right now on the fish body and let's see what kind of effect we get out of this one so if i will increase it more it will take a little time to calculate okay so now it has done so now you can see that the surface of it how it looks like let me turn on my uh wireframe also now this is after the polish and this is before the polish so you cannot see much of the difference but let me do one thing here let me keep on increasing it more until you get the result out of it so the result you will see is more on this side okay as this is uh, fairly uh, like you know simple object without detail so you can hardly see the result but let me undo entirely and just see over here how the result is so without the polish okay and how the result is after the polish so let me go back here and you can see that how it is doing now there's other deformer that you might want to play around with uh, there is a polish which is kind of interesting so uh let's apply the polish on this top pin so i will press alt on my keyboard and click on this pin just to see uh how the polish works so inside deformation if i will go there is on the top polish let me also turn on my wireframe shift f so you can see what's going on so without polish you can see how the wireframe how this uh, pin on the top looks like now if i will go to the polish and i will crank it all the way up and release my mouse so you will see what is going on over here so what it is doing is that it is kind of adding a polished detail around the fin of this object so if i will keep on increasing this polishing this so you can see it is relaxing my uh like polygons here more and more and more so if i will keep on undoing you can see that how it was before and how it became after so after and then before okay same similarly we have relax so relax kind of do the same thing but if your object is not detailed then the relax will uh, work differently and polish will uh, work differently here so go ahead and play around with these uh, so you can see what they do now there's another set of deformers that can be done through the gizmo so if you will go to the gizmo you can uh, work with that so if i will press any one of this of uh, like a uh, gizmo tools suppose i want to uh, work on let me select my fish model here and then select the gizmo and there are other deformers here as i told you you can go to this option here so there are uh, this uh, these basic deformers here like you have a bend arc so you can bend your object here or you can you know whatever you want to work with this so you can easily uh, work with that but as you know it will work uh, one at a time okay so that means you have to go in the transpose uh, mesh like we learned about the earlier in this course and use the deformer and then transfer that information back to your original mesh so that's how you can work with this if you want to work with the gizmo so let me go back here so guys i hope you have 
uh, understood about the deformers from this video. If you have uh, enjoyed my video, please uh, click on the like button and I will be uploading new lessons, tutorials, live sessions and full courses along with other useful videos. So don't forget to click on the bell icon so you can get all the notifications. I will highly appreciate if you will give a shout out to my channel on your social media account which will help me to get more subscribers. And this will motivate me to create more content for you all. So guys, thanks a lot for your support and please continue supporting me and take care of yourself till we meet for the next lesson. Thank you.